Hot clam. Asymmetric. 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 <laughs> Your asymmetrical ace. Nice. Thank you. All right, Mr. Guano. How does this game work? I don't know. It's a button mashing game. You gotta be have quick reflexes. Gotcha. There's combat and stuff, so we could do the after every combat we switch person. Uh oh. Is combat. We just wanted to watch you play it. That guy has a pamphlet for it. Head. You guys, want them. Yeah. You guys voice the people, and I'll be the main guy. Okay. Is that the main guy? I, I think so. Anyway, somebody voice this. That's the narrator, isn't it? I'll do it. <clears throat> it's going for it. You hear the sounds of a. Okay, this smells like a diner. All right, goodbye. You're bad at this game. Yeah. This so would you're probably playing. be useful information if you could see it. So you lied to me. I'm not playing. <laughs> Snowfy was playing. Yeah, Snowfy. I was playing? Being a little. Yeah, you were. Was. Were you doing was? No. Were you clicking around on the screen? No. This smells like a diner, and it smells <laughs> like they're open. Hopefully they don't have a no shirt, no shoes, magazine stuck to your face, no service sign posted. I go inside. That's funny. The Nightingale Diner. <laughs> I'm not I'm talking. talking to you oh, until you wipe that look off your face. <laughs> The copy of Look Magazine that stuck to your face. Bathroom's in the back. She points over to the right, as far as you know. <laughs> you feel a little sign there, but can't see what it says. Probably instructions for what to do in case of a magazine related emergencies. Oh no. Oh. You shouldn't bother anybody till you get this magazine off your face. <laughs> Yo, he can dash dance, though. <laughs> Some kind of big glass and metal box here. He'll but you like can't actually see what it is. He'll like it eventually. It's the bathroom, probably. That's me still. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Aye, you blunder your way into the bathroom and eventually find the sink. After fumbling with the faucet for a while, you manage to disentangle yourself from the magazine. You stare into the mirror, revealing... Yes? Kombucha! Oh. oh my gosh, my face. Better choose wisely. There are right and wrong answers here. Mm -hmm. That was a wrong answer. No! <laughs> there you are! Right. I leave the bathroom. No, I think that was one of the right answers. It's a good mustache. Thank you. I don't know. Ooh, they've got one of those new meat-operated multi-selection phonographs, or jukeboxes, as the kids call them. Neat! Hey, there's something in the coin return. Grab it. You gain one meat. Nice. Yes! Thank you. Meat is currency. Meat Isn't is that the... Life. Isn't that the little, like, stone that Maya has in Phoenix Wright? That, like, lets Me? her channel stuff? It's shaped like it. I'm unpacking my luggage. Everything I own is in the trunk, including my portable carpet steamer. Dinosaur. Unpacking in a diner seems like a bad idea. Okay. Sorry. Hello? A couple of older folks are having an animated discussion. Well, one of them is. I listen in. Uh, I, is that me? I, yeah. I don't know. Oh. Am I just the narrator, or? <laughs> narrator does do a lot. Okay, that might be. So me and Guano will be the characters. And I'll be the narrators. Okay. Oh. The way these young women act these days with their short hair and their spicy talk and their dresses that don't even cover their... Their... Ankles? It's scandalous. And those dances they do, flailing around like I don't know what. I'd have thought prohibition would have put the kibosh on that sort of tomfoolery, but no, sir. 
can't imagine dancing and waltz to the music they're playing nowadays, though. And that's the problem right there. There's newfangled jazz music with all the drums and, and clarinets and such. What kind of word is that anyway? Jazz. I think our cups got switched. You're supposed to be drinking decaf. And that's the problem with decaf. <laughs> <gasps> These two, well, okay, goodbye. These two are still <laughs> ranting about the problem with kids these days. Well, one of them is. <laughs> A couple of young women are chatting breezily over coffee. I talked to. Hey, Mac, what town is it? Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm the guy on the left, actually. Yeah. So. Oh. That's true. Yeah. Hey, Mac, what town is this? Oh, Keepsy, are you two traveling? Yeah, Ocean City's turning into a real sawmill, so we boosted her jelly bean free freezer for a weekend world to the hot potato. And PC, I guess you could be here. Oh, okay. Oh, Bushwa, you make it sound like we went south with it. I flew him a kite, everything's Jake. Jeez, I'm pretty sure I'm only three or four years older than you two, but I barely understand what you're saying. What are you, a cancelled stamp? Go put some pebble in your shoes. Uh, I'll try that. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that was well, confusing. <laughs> now that looks much better. I'm Ethel. I'm... Enter a different first name. What's your name, stranger? <laughs> oh, Poopsily. Hi, I'm Poopsily. Poopsily who? Poopsily, Coopsily? Oh, Pissily. <laughs> Poopsily, Pissel. But like, yeah, Poopsily, Pissily, actually. Pleased to meet you, Poopsily Pistol. What can I get you? Can I get a cup of coffee? You sure can. Best cup of coffee in the state, if I may say so myself. That'll be one meat. Great to go, please. Ethel, oh. Ethel pours you a steaming hot cup of fresh black java. You got an item, diner coffee. You spend one beat. Anything else, hon? Does the bus to Ocean City pick up here? Sure does. Should be here any minute. Good thing, too. I hear we're in for a rain tonight. What takes you to Ocean City? My uncle lives there. I got a letter from him. He wants me to help him with something. That's a reason, hon. But it's somebody else's reason. What's your reason? Ethel locks eyes with you. I, uh, I, mind your business, Ethel. Guarded. Of course, hun. Where are my manners? I'm sorry to pry. My curiosity just got the best of me. What physical armor? Hmm. Hmm. Frown and walk away. Mm -mm. Wow. You. This man is concentrating very hard on his coffee. Hey there. Is there something particularly interesting about that coffee? It's my first one. Of the day? No, it's my first coffee ever. Oh, what do you think? I think it is a bad beverage. It's bitter and makes my stomach hurt. Oh, well, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'll have another after this, though. And then maybe every morning for the rest of my life. Well, enjoy! Woo! That's hey, coffee. Like, oh, humanity. That quick bit. Wait. Oh, I buy these things with experience. Oh my goodness. Is this a game where you can die easily? I don't know. Possibly not. West of Loathing was like pretty no on that. But we'll see how this oh. game is. Okay. 
Uh, it's just kind of like so dynamic sad. story. True. It's yeah. I'm going out and waiting for it. Ethel said something about the bus, but you skipped the dialogue. I got impatient. Prologue. You pull out the letter you got from Uncle Murray and read it again. Murray Morris. CEO Murray's Antiques. 111 Plunkett Street, Ocean City. Dear Poopsily, I hope this letter finds you well. I hope it finds you quickly. Something quite serious has happened. I need the help of your adventuresome spirit. Come to my shop in Ocean City as soon as you are able, please. Your Uncle Murray. I put the letter away. That's a boring letter. Just a clown. Or a, a stooge. Clown. Or a stooge. Hmm. You're just about to go mad from the monotony of this ride when the bus suddenly judders to a stop. You look out the window expecting to see the sights and sounds of Ocean City. But instead, you see an endless expanse of extremely wet trees. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Hey. It's the bus driver. I talked to him. What's going on? This doesn't look like Ocean City. Snow free. Go no. ahead. Was it? I don't know the order. <laughs> I, I figure you take the first other character, if anything. And then okay. PCM can fill in any extras in the dialogue. Because sure. it's on narration duty. Yeah. Oh, sorry about this, but we're out of gas. Oh, jeez. You didn't fill up before we left? I filled up the bus, but this trip takes exactly one full tank of gas. He hands you an empty gas can. You got an item. Empty gas can. Plus one additional can. Swell. Why do I have to go get it? Well, I'd get it myself, except for two reasons. Those being? Firstly, being as I'm the bus driver, I'm legally responsible for this bus, and I gotta keep an eye on it. And secondly, because of my leg. What's wrong with your leg? It's attached to a fella that doesn't want to go wandering around in the rain at night. <sighs> well, all right then. Guess I ain't got much of choice. Can I borrow your umbrella at least? This is a left-handed umbrella. Nuts. Sorry about that. Here, I do have a flashlight you can use, though. Good luck. Thanks. We've established that you are right-handed. See, that's like the sort yep. of thing in this game where it's like, is it going to show up in my perks tree? Because I said yeah. it that one time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'd be a debuff. You were left-handed. <laughs> oh, no. You are no longer able to use scissors. <laughs> oh, help me! Here's some gas. This gas pump is empty. Hello, gas. This pump is full of water instead of gas. <laughs> there's a little bit of gas left in this pump, but there's no hose on it. Starts. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I didn't think a reading game would be this hard when I got a yawn every 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could switch roles if you want. <laughs> no, it's fun. Seems like just yesterday, this gas only cost 6 and 15 out of 64 meat a gallon. Those were the days. Oh, man. Me 6 and yeah. 17, 64 meat gallon. Now with extra lead. Ooh. Extra lead. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. This station seems to have run out of service. Better get it some more. 
I don't know. It's a horror game. Yeah, I don't think so. Either they're out of postcards, or this is a horror game. Ta-da. Or all the scenery around here is invisible. There's one object left on the snack shelf. I'll take it. Cheese loaf. Cheese loaf. Yeah. Oh. Nobody in their right mind would consider this vile substance a snack. I am in my left mind. You Here. consider it a snack. Excuse my mocks if I want until I eat something else. <clears throat> Cursed by an absence of crackers, you eat the cheese loaf with your bare hands. In the end, you are unclean both inside and out. You gain an effect. Improved lo loafing. Ooh. That's, that's one. I was about to say loathing, because that's the name of the game, but it's low. That's right. Oh, that's the goal. Yeah. Let me unpack my luggage. Did you know that you have Osborne the Sparrow equipped? Yeah. <laughs> See, when I was four years old, Osborne flew into my bedroom window and refused to leave. He's been with me as a familiar ever since. I see. Yes. I... Yeah. Good grief, this coffee smells good. You can't bring yourself to drink it because you might really need some coffee later. Oh, later then. Oh, 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 oh. Now can you unpack your luggage? I, I could not. Let me show oh. you. Uh, I shouldn't unpack my bag at a dirty gas station. Dang. Can't okay. have dirty garbage. That's fair. How about, how about out here? If you open this thing in the rain, all your stuff will get wet. Dang. June okay. Pay. June pay. We might get wet, June pay. <laughs> what? It's weird that the cash register is pointed toward the front of the store. I loot it! <gasps> it's mostly empty, but you find some loose change. Oh, whoa, whoa. You do a cool trick with your flashlight and I gain seven meats. Show. Thank you. Oh, sorry, hold on. There's an old baseball bat leaning against the wall here. I grab it. You got an item. Baseball bat. It is equipped what? automatically. Classic dirt water slugger. With this, you can either take somebody out to the ball game or just take them out. Yeah! Nice. I'm, I'm armed. I'm ready to go. You can take them out of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Empty oil cans. A whole pyramid of them. Oh. No, don't buy him some Cracker Jacks. He'll never come back. The sign says employees only. Are you an employee? I activated my controller. No. Uh, well, since the place is out of business, it probably wouldn't hurt anything for you to go back there, I guess. Thank That's you. That's important lore. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice of you. If a broken radio can still be considered nice, this is a pretty nice radio. Yeah. A desk, presumably optimized for doing gasoline-related business. I search it. Very thoroughly. <laughs> Four of the drawers contain nothing but old receipts and pencil stubs. The fifth one is locked. <gasps> Let me into the fifth one. Oh. It's no. locked. I'm so bad I don't work here. <laughs> the shelf smells like axle grease and old paint, probably because that's what's on it. Oh, my word. Hmm. This shelf is laden with miscellaneous electrical widgets and doodads. You don't have use for any of them, though. Oh, never mind. This shelf is full of old personnel files. I don't need those. Nothing ah. personnel is needed. <laughs> Each object that you examine on this shelf is dirtier and more boring than the one you looked at before. Oh, what about this one, though? No, it's dirty and boring. But oh, boring. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. 
you really want to read that. <laughs> you really want to know the story behind this sign. I want to read it. Stand clear of lift before operating Steve. Steve. Did Steve tell you that for chance? Mm -hmm. Steve. Steve. Looks like this is the control for that car lift thing. I press it. Nothing happens. It must not have power. Oh. Some kind of weird machine. I Never know not what to do with it. You are not Mr. Callet enough. No. Yikes. That old fliver looks promising as a source of gas, but you can't reach it while it's up on the lift. I try to do something about it. This game used a lot of old hanky-panky lingo that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> it is set in the 1920s, and so it will stay. How low It's a big yeah. tool. And its name is Snowfy. Hey. Uh, it's a big tool chest. <laughs> 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 but all of the good tools have already been stolen. Ah, oh, darn it. A I'm fuse a box. <laughs> a fuse box. Mm. I open it. As advertised, this is a box containing one fuse. However, the fuse is broken, which is probably not intended. You should keep an eye out for a replacement. Must be one around here somewhere. Oh, but... I'm not smart enough to get it. You should have got some more mysticality then. Yeah, I have zero experience. I, I can't even begin to be cool. Oh, oh it's so wet out here. And I'm not left-handed. It's a shame you don't have a right-handed umbrella. Yeah. Finnegan's Operational Boxing Gym. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. Good to know it's not compulsory. <laughs> oh, it's a fine place to have. Who's this person? A miserable looking hitchhiker is standing in the rain, listlessly sticking out her thumb. I talk to her. I am Hi the there! Here. Her head turns very slowly to face you. And her eyes don't quite meet yours. Can you give me a lift? I need to get to Albany. Sorry, I'm going the other way. Uh oh. Also, I don't have a car. Oh. What's your name? I'm Poop Silly. Lydia. It's nice to meet you, Lydia. Although I admit the circumstances aren't great. Hmm. How about this rain, huh? Oh, it's raining. Oh, whoops. Lydia looks very slightly surprised <laughs> and glances around slowly. I missed that. Me too. Yeah. Oh, it's raining. Ah, yeah. yeah, sure is. But what a night to be stuck in on the road, right? I hadn't noticed. I get the feeling you aren't much of a noticer. Well, anyway. Real smooth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> See any good movies lately? Saw Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at the Nickelodeon. Oh, that's a classic. What did you think? It was very scary. I liked it. I prefer comedies myself. Have you seen the new Buster Keaton one, The Cameraman? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's great. You have to see Sherlock Jr. That's my favorite. Mm. It's really terrific. Oh, any good books lately? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I read The Invisible Man. It was really good. Oh, yeah. H.G. Wells is great. Have you read his new one? The War in the Air? I didn't care for it. What I'm thinking of is Mr. Something on Something Island. I, I forget the name, but it was terrible. His early works are his best, like The Time Machine. Yeah, I love that one. I'm glad we were able to find something we could connect on, Lydia. 
So, um... <laughs> okay, bye, good luck. <laughs> is this what dating in 2022 is like? Oh! oh. No, it's what dating in 1922 is like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi there, Lydia. She looks at you and nods just enough for it to count as a nod instead of a blank stare. Nice. So, what's in Albany? You have a family no. there? No, I, I just want to go somewhere new. Albany isn't new, though. It's one of the oldest cities in the country. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's fair. Do you know where I can get some gas? Gas? The bus I was on ran out, and the driver sent me to find some more. Bus? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Ocean City. I've never been there. Well, okay then. Um. Hmm. Okay, bye. Good luck. You literally exhausted every casual conversation topic before bringing up the gas that you need. And then just being <laughs> like, oh, she doesn't have it. I guess I'll leave. <laughs> I just want to make friends. This field is extremely corny. Oh, that's funny. One letter off. No, it's corny. This turtle is stuck on its back. Why aren't you helping it? I am. I am helping it. There you go, buddy. That turtle's going to kill turtle. you in the yeah. secret ending. Uh-oh. Eat all the corn. Is the turtle going to go through the corn? Oh, hey, uh, I ain't wanna be unfriendly, but this is a private residence that y'all just barged into. Oh, gee, sorry. Everything's so desolate outside, I guess I just assumed this place was abandoned. Well, come morning, you'll be right. So, you might as well get in out of the rain for a spell. Thanks. My name is Poop Silly Pissile. Howdy, Poop Silly. I'm Elijah. Elias? Elias. Elias, I think. <laughs> Elias. Elias Chekhov. Make yourself at home. I hope I he's will. got a gun. <laughs> I'm gonna look around for the gun! He do. There's a <laughs> rifle hanging over Chekhov's fireplace. Mr. Chekhov's fireplace. <laughs> I think I'll ask Mr. Chekhov about it. Are you leaving this rifle behind? Yep. How come? Well, it's a varmint rifle, and here, where I'm going, there aren't any varmints. There's vermin, to be sure, and critters and such as like that. But the almanac don't list any examples of a varmint, qua varmint, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you no, mean. No, you need... Oh, okay. <laughs> no need to fret over it right now. In any case, the gu that gun is for later. Later? Uh, yep, much later. Huh. Okay, Mr. Shekhov. It's pretty what great. A weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got gears, tears, and bears. Almost. All these boxes are labeled bears. Um, I'm going to ask about that. Are these boxes really full of bears? Nah, those boxes are all canned pears. I had a little fun writing the labels is all. You want a can? I got one left that didn't fit. You got an item. Bibson's Extra Sweet Pears. Gee, thanks. Just sweet pears. Yeah. Increase my mysticality by one, but it would Ooh. replace my moxie going up by one. That's oh. true. Ooh. You got a trade. 
Would you like to be mystical so you can activate that machine there? Or I think I need an extra mystical two. on top of it. Well, yeah, you'd need yeah. one more, but you'd be on your way to getting it. Yeah, but I'm afraid I'm just not so mystical as of yet. Your moxie is showing. Oh, where? Oh, here you go. It bears repeating that there's still a lot of pears here. <laughs> it pairs repeating that a bear is going to kill you unless you get the gun. What? Oh, God. Ash for later. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. That's for when the bear uprising happens. <laughs> oh. There's a weird device on top of this box. Elias. What's this funny looking thing? That's a duck call. Oh, it's a four. It's... For Carl and Ducks. How oh, fun! Used to be. Don't work anymore on account of being haunted. Haunted? Yeah, well, not haunted exactly. Bunch of spiders got in there, and now it sounds all scary when you blow it. Let's see? If you want it, it's yours. You gingerly take the duck call, trying very hard not to think about spiders. What you spiders? The haunted duck call. Good job. Thank you. Thank ah, you. Love me a regular duck call in my inventory. Anyway, let's produce some spiders. <laughs> You're pretty sure this duck call is haunted, but you can't remember the story of how it got that way. Uh-oh. It's Reduce. an offhand item. Reduce an enemy's muscle, mysticality, and moxie by one when you honk it at them. One's per fight. That's pretty good, I think. I, yeah, it's a good starter thing at the very least. These boxes are labeled gears. What's with these boxes of gears? My daughter Simone left those behind when she went off to school. Figured I should keep them for her. That makes sense. Hey, Elias! <laughs> Wait, are these boxes of tears or, or tears? Don't be ridiculous. You can't put neither one of them in boxes. Mm. That don't make any kind of sense. Mm. Do you like this box? I made it from my tears! Why <laughs> you a box of tears and you kill him? Shares. What's in here? Stocks? Scissors. Uh, I get it. There's. It's supposed to say shears. Yeah. But there's not space. This is a very large box, considering that most people own either zero or one class ring. Is this box really full of class rings? Yep, bad hundred and forty of them. Did you, did you go to college a hundred and forty times? <laughs> nah, of course not. I just collect them is all. Why? Well, they're rare, but not very rare. They're all different in interesting ways, and they're shiny. That there's the collecting trifecta. Okay, then. Solid logic. Mm -hmm. This door is locked with some kind of elaborate electric lock. What's with this door? Oh, that's my daughter Simone's room. Who's left for college? Hopefully she ain't left anything important in there, because I plumb forgot how to work that crazy lock she invented. I see. <sighs> oh. Huh. This door leads to a bathroom. Oh. Can I use your bathroom? Sure. How do you know that door was the bathroom, though? I've always had a knack for knowing which doors lead to bathrooms, is all. Well, good for you, I guess. Thank Important you, I had it. Power. It is a good power. Former Chekhov's house. 
You can see your face in Elias' mirror. Just like your own mirror back home. I gaze into it. You're not a vampire. You look at yourself in the mirror. Hi, Poopsily. Smile. Hey there, good looking. Trout. Oh, what's wrong? Scout. Why, I oughta... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You remember something really embarrassing you did a couple of years ago. <laughs> oh, freak out. I just assume this looks good. Ah, oh, there you are. Hey there, good look. <laughs> <laughs> the loop. Hey, he keeps the smile. Fine. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Hey, uh -oh. shit, God! <laughs> so, you're moving out? Hey, yep. Yeah, I finished packing, so now I'm just waiting for the movers to come and take this last load of stuff. You got movers coming in the middle of the night? Nah, in the morning. But I went and packed my teddy bear and forgot which box he's in. Can't sleep. I see. Why are you late? Well, my daughter went off to college, so there's nothing keeping me here. I never particularly cared for farming, anywho. Just kind of fell into it, you know? So I reckoned I'd take the opportunity to retire and travel a bit. See what kind of trouble I can get up to. <laughs> nice. So what's your story? What are you doing out on a night like this? I got a letter from my Uncle Murray. Sounded urgent, so I hopped to a, bu a bus to Ocean City. I ain't sure how to tell you this, but you got a ways to go yet. Yeah, the bus ran out of gas, so the driver sent me to scavenge for some more. I got you. Well, I think there's an old gas deck can in the barn out back. You're welcome to it. Thanks. I gotta warn you, though. You'll have to fight my daughter for it. What? Well, technically, I should say my daughter's monster. What? It's a thing my daughter Simone built. What? See, my kid's a real technical whiz. She built an auto na auto ominous robot to wrap paste traption to help the, with plowing and harvesting and the like. Worked real nice too. Wow. Problem is, after she left, it blew a what's it tube and got violent. I'm pretty good with machinery, but. When it comes to these newfangled electrics, I might as well be a dog trying to read play Plato, Plato. So I locked it in the barn. Ah, I see. Well, you're welcome to try a hand against it if you've my mind to. But please be careful. It's got a lot of shop bits on it. Here's the key. Farmer Chekhov's barn key. Farmer Chekhov's barn key. Thanks. Oh. Still pissed. <laughs> Thanks. Angry. The third most common sort of key you find on a farm after Don and Tur. Don key. Tur key. Ha! <laughs> 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 I gotta oh, say, the rain sounds are just creating that, like, perfect ASMR effect, and I'm just, like, dozing. <laughs> it's relaxing. Yeah, there's, like, no music or anything. It's just, like, really chill. Enjoy mm -hmm. Blue Cola. I dare Topeka. you. You've heard a lot of nice things about Topeka, but not 1,200 miles worth of nice things. Oh, man. It's hot. In Topeka. Here we go. Woo! I just need this gas. 
There's partially full gas can nestled in the piles of garbage. Whew. You pour the gas into your own can, then hide the empty can behind some of the garbage. Some incomprehensible glyphs are scrawled on the wall of the boxcar. Mysterious. Oh! This door is extremely heavy. Ooh, okay. Didn't we have something? Need some muscle. It's for mysticality. Oh. A cheerful looking hobo toodles idly on a harmonica. I interrupt his toodle. <gasps> Hi there, I'm Poopsily. Where had it there, neighbor? I'm Howie. Pleased to meet you. I'm not actually from around here, though. Well, the way I see it, this whole country is my home, so everybody is my neighbor. Aw, that's nice. Either that, or they're all trespassers who'd better get off of my property. Oh. <laughs> I'm just jostling your friend. Care for some jerky? What kind? Clam. It's a local delicacy. Huh. Yeah, I'll have some jerky. You got clam jerky. There you are. Can't buy the stuff myself like eating a dried slug, but saltier. Come to think of it, that's exactly what it is. You're really selling me on this local delicacy. If you ask me, the locals are a little bit weird. Okay. Yeah. Any plans for the future? Well, word on the wall is that there's a camp forming in Ocean City. I figured I'll mosey on over there once this rain lets up. Word on the wall? I never heard that phrase. Is it like through the grapevine? Eh, similar. Similar. I see. I'm gonna eat this now. <laughs> hey, increase your muscle, muscle by one. It's always nice to get a gift from a kindly stranger, but it's especially mm -hmm. nice when that gift is dried flesh. Yay! <laughs> I eat this. Good point. <laughs> yes. You lose improved loafing, you gnaw the jerky until the gnawing is done. You gain an effect slightly clammier. A swallowing too. Yeah. Look how strong I am. Oh, oh, you're clammy. Oh, I'm sweating out like a clam. That's a man's meal. Oh, what is that? Uh, the last thing you see before you die. No, so. Toby, stop. Well, that explains why this hobo camp is abandoned. They sent a railroad minotaur to run everybody off. I'm going to take the bull by the horns. <gasps> RPG. Whoa. Still no music. Oh, trespasser. Okay. Your bird. You throw a rock. You got a bird. Oh, nice. Uh, wait. Yeah, okay. That was my... Haunting quack. Minus one to all stats. And I have no more AP, so I have to just... I, I can end with the thwack, though. <coughs> nice. Oh. 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 Three damage. <gasps> oh, my bird. bird. Sing, inspiring song, increasing poop sleeve, pistols, muscle by one... Hey! -ya. Rock Ooh. thrown! Hey! -ya. Face smacked! Nice! Minotaur killed. You beat the Minotaur. 5 XP. Excellent. Yeah. That's a milk car. <laughs> the only thing in that direction <laughs> is trees, and they're not interesting trees. Rude. A 1911 Ford Milk Crate for Wheels. That model never really seemed to take off. Oh, look, it has a gas can on it. Oh, I helped myself. You added the gas to your can because you can. Yeah! Uh, two out of three nice. full gas. 
Because I'm the milkman. There's a carving on the trunk of this tree. It says, How he loves playing the harmonica. Aw. Oh. oh, he's in love. That's right. With playing the harmonica. <laughs> Somebody has placed a sheet of filthy linoleum on the ground here in an effort to lend legitimacy to this outdoor kitchen. Thank. It's where I buy it. That's pretty good. You were hoping for an outdoor dining room, but there's just woods in that direction. It's one of those new-fangled indoor-outdoor refrigerators. I open it. Somebody left a perfectly good mason jar full of gasoline in here. I take it. Nice. Full gas can. You got a full gas can. And a friend in me. The stew Ooh. in this pot is beyond help, but you could probably salvage the ladle. I'll do so. Hey, this isn't a ladle, it's a spatula. No wonder the stew's so messed up. Oh. You got the grimy spatula. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. It's a magical what? weapon. <laughs> this spatula has been used hard and cleans never. Never. Put it in place of the baseball bat. Sure. Give my muscle plus one physical, mysticality plus two physical. But I do, I mean, they're, they're essentially the same, as far as my stats are concerned, I believe. How, How is Knapsack? Is this Knapsack your only luggage? Oh, that ain't mine. That's been here since before I arrived myself. Nobody's been able to work out how to open the dang thing. You can figure out the trick. You're welcome to it. You inspect the bag. It appears to be latched shut with one of those puzzles made out of bent nails and steel wire. Howie wasn't just har harmonic... Harmonicaning Dixie. <laughs> oh, that's a word. But I can't. I'll leave it alone for now. An open fire in an enclosed space. Classic. Oh, Howie. It's me. The outskirts of Ocean City. Oh. Jesus. There's a weird plaque oh. where Lydia was standing. Oh, no. I read it. At this exact spot on the 13th of October, 1908, the state's first mass-produced auto meal, the Ford Model T, purchased by Hiram O. Crowlins, accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, Lydia Barnsley. Wow. That was fast. So apparently that woman you talked to a few minutes ago has been dead for exactly 20 years. Good. Swell. Everything about this is great, and you aren't regretting this trip before you even arrived. I think I'll go all about my normal lawn haunted day. It's fine. Hmm. It's fine. You don't have to fight if you don't want to. That's really nice to know. It's optional. Red Cola. Hey, Turtle. Red Cola, protect your family. <laughs> Hmm. This turtle seems to be heading to Ocean City, too. At this rate, it might beat you there. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Uh, I take it with me. Got it. <gasps> What's his name? What do we name the turtle? Tip Top. Oh, oh. Diarrhea. Tip Diarrhea. Oh. I just want to see if you know how to spell diarrhea. Yeah. Pipped up Freya. <laughs> I think I need an extra R. Little R. <laughs> Tipped up Freya. Freya. Uh, well, that's very confusing the way I've. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Tipped up Freya. <laughs> Tip top fur. 
Sit up and start. Tip top Freya. That's its name now. Diarrhea. Okay, tip top Freya. Freya it is. You got an item, tip top Freya. A turtle. It's like a slow bandage. He was a random wounded ally by his mysticality. Wow. But what about Osborne? Increases my stats by one. Okay, wow. so you're rounding up a squad of little Diarrhea. animals. What the? Tip top Rhea. <laughs> Tip top Rhea. You wouldn't make a dog walk six miles in this rain, no matter how bad it wanted to. Oh. It's a bus time. driver. Hey there, friend. Hey, look with the gas. You show the driver your gas can. Well, his gas can. Well, hey, that there's a full can of gas. I knew you could do it. Are you ready to hit the road? Hey, let's get out of here. He takes the can and empties it into the bus tank. And with that, we're on our way. All aboard! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, get back on the bus. You climb back on the bus and return to your seat. And soon, you're dozing off. Ugh, me too. To the sound of <laughs> rain spattering on the window <laughs> beside you. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's barely an approximation of sleep. The sort of sleep that you slip into so gradually that you don't even know you're asleep until something wakes you up. Longer Street. And you realize that your meandering thoughts of the past few minutes have been utterly strange, shadowy tendrils of whispering ideas. Hey, kid, this is your stop, right? That are now totally forgotten. Ugh. Why? All ashore, that's going ashore. Thanks for traveling, Willis Busco. There's some bar. Cola, Cola Wars. Wars Surplus. The army surplus store is closed for the night. Oh no. Going seems inaccurate. It's going out of business. It's gone Come out on. of business. No, it's going, the sign says so. Probably nothing you want in here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, mister. Look at this guy. This hobo seems wholly unperturbed by the rain. Nice weather we're having. He smiles, then looks up and lets the rain splash on his face for a while. Eh, suits me just fine, I guess. Wise men once said that rain falls on poor men and rich men alike. Was that before umbrellas were invented, or...? My name's Gus, by the way. Hi, I'm Poopsley. Pleased to meet you, Poopsley. Say, you wouldn't have a couple of mate to spare, would you? Am I? Sure. You flip Gus some meat, and he beams. Thank you very much, Poopsley. Old Gus won't forget your kindness, you bet. Take her easy, Gus. Making friends. There's nothing in that direction except the road you arrived on. Uh, and walking all the way back there probably isn't a good use of your time right now. You don't know that! Ah, do you? There's nothing ah. over there. Thus, the narrator hath spoken. It's a bus stop. Thus, the narrator hath spoken. It's released. It's closed. It's condemned. Closed. Hmm, this building looks perfectly solid. Maybe it's just the people renting it that were condemned. Hmm. This trash's reach has exceeded its can's grasp. It's about hubris. The watchful eye. Securus. You can't see anything interesting within walking distance in that direction. Secure bus. 
It's late. The bank oh. is closed. No! The door to the newspaper office is locked. The windows are boarded up. Looks like Prince is really dead. Uh, really is dead. You thought it had at least seven or eight more decades left. Oh, man. But no. I think the store sells broken glass and drafts. Maybe. Please note on the door, uh, the note on the door says, <laughs> please, I am dyslexia. For least, please. For please. <laughs> it's a trash can full of trash. I dig through it. You gotta discard the bottle of cologne. Holy! Shape cologne. cologne! That's gonna work for romancing someone in a later Stead chapter. Hmm. This bottle of cologne was inexpensive to begin with, and throwing it away didn't make it any more valuable. Here's my stench armor. Spray the entire bottle of cologne all over yourself. You gain an effect. You could smell worse. <laughs> See, I think it's here. You can. Uh, where the why? Yeah, you can see on my. There it is. Back. Mm. My body is now approximately one percent clam on account of the small amount of clam I just put into it. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, hot oh, cheese. Oh, cripes. You're a stinky clam, mister. Whoopsicle. No. And you got a strong back and a quick wit and fashion and good eyesight. I could oh. have one of these three. Oh. Not this. It's too expensive for me. Oh, that's right. These are potential. Oh, upgrades. right. We got to get some experience. What are we thinking? Muscle, Mr. Cowdy, or Moxie? I like Moxie. Yeah, Moxie's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Nice. You got some fashion sense. You know you're not supposed to wear plaid and stripes at the same time, but you're so cool you can get away with it anyway. Whoa. Moxie, Moxie looks cool, move to Grayson style, and deal damage with ranged weapons, guns, and musical instruments. Ooh. Oh. All right. You need to get a harmonica of your own. I do. The bell over the door jangles as you walk into Murray's Antiques. The young woman at the counter looks up as you enter. Oh, hi. You must be poopsily. We don't get many customers at this time of night. Or at all, really. Ask me? You were expecting me? Yeah, Murray didn't say much about you, but he gave me the letter to mail. My name's Jessica. Oh, jeez, you're soaking wet. Come on in, and I'll get you a towel. You walk over to the counter, trying not to drip on any vintage bric-a-brac as Jesse grabs a threadbare bath towel from a shelf and pulls the tag off before tossing it to you. Thanks. Is Uncle Murray here? I thought it wasn't very specific. He isn't. You said that in kind of an ominous way. Where is he? Jessica sighs. I wish I knew. He had a line on another artifact and said it was going to be a tough one. I told him he should get some backup, but he wasn't willing to wait. He just wrote that letter and told me to mail it if he didn't come back. Is there something I'm missing here? This is an antique shop, right? You make trying to... Make trying to talk great Aunt Ruthie into selling your mother's Chesterfield sound like a deadly spy mission. Yeah, this is gonna take some explaining. Can it wait till morning? I wanna get out of these wet clothes into a dry bed. Sorry, hon. We don't have a lot of time to waste. I have to at least give you enough info to make a rational decision on helping us or not. Well, okay. Jessica leads you into a back room furnished with some desks and some strange-looking machinery. Welcome to our back office, the hub of our little operation. I'm guessing by operation, you're talking about something other than antiques? Well, yes and no. 
See, a few years ago, Murray found out that there's a bunch of antiques circulating that are, well, hinky, would be the real understatement. Hinky? Murray called them tainted, dark magic, real bad mojo, you know? Cursed. Oh, for a second, I thought you were making bathtub gin or something. It's no joke. That's what our job, real job is here. The antique store is just, well, not exactly a front. We find a lot of regular antiques, too, and selling them keeps us in scratch. But really, we're trying to hunt down all these evil doodads and neutralize them so nobody gets hurt. Man, Uncle Murray went out to get one and never came back. That's the long and short of it, yep. What do you say? Are you in? Well, yeah, I can't just leave him in the lurch like this. Great. You hear the shop door opening, and after a moment, a goblin pokes her head into the office. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, uh, that's swell timing. Hey, Gabby, Murray's sister's kid showed up. Come meet him. Hi. <sighs> Uh, hello, the pleasure is all Gabby's. <laughs> Gabby, would you be a dear and carry his luggage to Murray's room and grab some blankets and stuff out of the cupboard? He can't sleep. He can sleep there till we find Murray. You've gotten it. Gabby picks up your suitcase and carries it through a door in the back of the room. Oh, great. I could really use some sleep. Oh, sure. Rub it in. <laughs> That was a Rub goblin. it in, Poopsily. <laughs> oh, boy, this is great. Sleep. A white cat is snoozing on an old towel. Talk about sleepy. What's this cat's name? Calliope? Calliope. <laughs> Callio. Callio? Murray got her a couple of years ago. <laughs> Scratch by the cat ears. You give Calliope Callio <laughs> a good scratching, but she doesn't react at all. Why doesn't Catty Calliope like me? Eh, she'll warm up eventually. Try giving her some sardines. She loves those. Do you have any sardines? No, we're all out. You can get some more tomorrow. They have them at the Cola Wars surplus store next door. Okay. Oh, oh stretching. Oh, so tight. A modern radio stands here in defiance of the concept of antiques. Dang, true. That doesn't belong here. Oof. Oof. Limbering up. You cannot even hazard a guess as to what this contraption does. Oof. So tired. It's hurting your back. Oh. You don't have time to play games right now. Stares at you. Anyway. Anyway. There's nobody at this desk except you. Oh, oh. Hey, Jessica, whose desk is this? Charles Wallace, our handyman. He's up fixing a leak on the roof right now, but he'll be back later tonight. I see. Messages? None. There's nobody you need to call right now. Chewy. Chewy. You wonder where this door leads. I'm gonna find out. You open the door, and there's just a brick wall behind it. Apparently it goes nowhere. Huh. I've been bamboozled. You run into it anyway. <laughs> oh. Got hoodwinked. You're not sure what this, this clock is telling, but it sure is in time. Mm. This is your new bedroom, apparently. You can hear Gabby bustling around in there, making the bed and such. Let me just fix my tie. Hang on a sec. You can't go to sleep yet. I'm pretty sure I can. I bet I could do it right here while I'm still standing up. <laughs> 
Well, I hate to spring this on you, but there's something we need you to do before the night's over. Oh, well, what is it? You know those cursed artifacts I was talking about? Since info on them is so sketchy, we've been working on a machine that can detect them with radio waves. I call it the Detectotron 1000. We've just gotten it up and running since Murray left, and it turned out there's a tainted thing practically right on our doorstep. Mm hmm. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not great. I was going to have Gabby go get it. That's why she came over tonight. But since you've turned up out of no, out of the blue... Oof, I guess there's no time like the present. I am probably not exaggerating when I say there is literally no time except for the present. What? As in, there might not be a future. You won't have to go far, have far to go. It's just down the other end of the block. If the readings are right... There's a newspaper office that got shut down early this year. It should be in there. Well. Gabby will go with you. She's good in a fight. A fight? Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully it won't come to that, but you never know. Hey, Gabby. Gabby reappears with an expectant grin. Go to the newspaper office with Poopsily and help him get that hat, okay? Okay. Gabby is ready for action. What's mercy? Gabby has joined you as a companion. <laughs> All right, fine. You said it's a hat? A cursed hat? According to the readout, yeah, a men's fedora, probably. I'm supposed to, what, just break it and take it? Well, not break, exactly. I managed to fangle a spare key out of the guy at the re retailer's office. Realtor. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's stealing no matter where it is, ma'am. Still counts as breaking and entering. Well, you'll be in and out and back here and in bed before you know it. Well... I've okay. got a newspaper office key. Wish me luck, I guess. What's time? <laughs> Gabby grins and gives you a thumb up. Everything good, Gabby? Gabby has rather than us for an action. Have you lived in Ocean City long, Gabby? Oh, yes. All of Gabby's life is here. Gabby, great, 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 grand Gabby. <laughs> Grand Gabby <laughs> came and popped just some blocks from over there, or to pop in, as they would say. <laughs> wow! So your family's been here for quite a while, huh? Yes, fourteen years. I keep making small talk. God, I love doing this voice. <laughs> How'd you get mixed up with Murray and the whole antique store deal, Gabby? Oh, it's coincided. Gabby was looking for just... Uh, was ju looking... Reading. Was looking <laughs> just at old clothes and heard of more than Jessica talking about the mysterious thing to get. It had an adventure smell. Then Murray said, We're gonna need some muscle for this. And Gabby says, Gabby has several muscles, strong ones, and that was what it was. Gabby has been helping since then. All right, I'm not going to flap my gums no more. Oh, no, the flapping is good, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's flap the gums. Uh, I'm Come out of here. Just okay, let's get that stupid hat and get this over with. I just said his name. <laughs> you take a deep breath and unlock the door. You give the key to Gabby for safekeeping. I go inside. Goblin. Gabby puts it in the bra. What? <laughs> I'll ask no more. <laughs> this desk has met a violent end. 
Search the wreckage. Nothing but a pile of homemade toothpicks. Darn it. The drawer on this one is slightly ajar. And look inside. Ew. <laughs> Nasty old levels. leftovers. Yuck. It's a combat item. I don't know what went into this bag, but you know that the only thing that's ever going to come out of it is a congealed mass of foul goo. Oh. Reduces things by three. Like once per five, but I can keep using this one. Or no way. I think this is a consumable item, actually. But still. Alright, let me go find that hat before someone falls asleep. Gobbles. Yeah, but you stop sleeping would... on the counter. Someone's sleeping on the counter? Hmm? Or do you say you're crazy? I'm not even sitting down. I'm standing up at my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to keep... <laughs> Oh, hey, it's one of those new Arcane Press newsfeed things. Hi, Tech. I gaze into it. Today's list of banned dances. The Chutney Slider, the Dirty Dirty Blitz, and the Upside Down Tango. No. Watch. That's a bat's move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today's winning racehorses. Gristler's Mother, Too Much Corn, and Howitzer's Jacket. I keep watching. Prohibition agents confiscate 40 barrels of wine. 10 cheese wheels and some nice fresh honeycomb also seized. Hey, stop watching. Okay. Whoever worked at this desk forgot their cufflinks. I take them. You got Who's an item. Cuff Reporter's cufflinks. They are equipped automatically. Wow. Nice. Plus the Mr. Cow. The left one is engraved, always check, and the right one says, your sources. It really makes you think. Oh. <laughs> There's a pink slip on this desk. I read it. Hinden, I'm not paying you to publish cockamamie conspiracy theories. In fact, I'm not paying you at all anymore. Clean out your desk and hit the road. Grover <laughs> Burgess, editor-in-chief. P.S. Do you like the word cockamamie that I used up there? It's a slang term I coined. It means ridiculous or implausible. I think it's really going to catch on. Yeah, nice word, boss. I mean, man, I don't work for. There's a half-finished letter in the typewriter. The letter reads, Reginald, I think Burgess is on to us. We've gotten careless. In fact, maybe I shouldn't be typing out as... Typing this out as a letter instead of just talking to you in person. Why am I doing this? Meet me under the water cooler this afternoon. Ah, uh, crap. Here comes Burgess with a pink slip. Sincerely, it doesn't say who it's from. The writer must have gotten fired before they could type their name. Also, under the water cooler? What's that all about? Mm. Mm -hmm. Water Big heavy water cooler, and it's got something to hide. I move it. Hey, look, a trap door. I go through it. Hey, look, you nice. went through. Uh -oh. Watchful eye office. I go back up. There's <laughs> fish people. <laughs> oh, look, there she is. It's an underground yeah. press, literally. They still left a newspaper in it. I take the paper. Yes. You got the underground newspaper. This was printed in the secret underground newspaper office. I read it. It's more of a manifest manifesto, specifically calling out the government's suppression of the local newspaper and the importance of a free press. There's also an amusing but puzzling cartoon about a dog arresting a mouse for throwing a brick at a cat's head, which the cat didn't seem to mind. Interesting. All right. Yeah. <laughs> creepy man. I guess so. Hey, hey, Gabby. Hello. Everything good, Gabby? Gabby. Gabby is ready to murder. Uh, you know, Gabby, it's been a few years since I spent time in Ocean City, but I don't, I don't remember it being this run down. That is a true thing to say. It deserves to be much more clean and sad. 
What happened? The economy's terrific everywhere else in the country. My ideas. Economics is not the house that keeps my wheels in. Understandable. Have a nice day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a calendar from 11 years ago. I take a closer look. There's a huge black skull scrawled on July 22nd, 1917. Huh. What happened on July 22nd, 1917? On with this. The fish people incident? The fish people incident? Some kind of complicated looking control panel. Check it out. The control panel has a green button, a red button, a big lever, a knob with a bunch of letters on it, and a series of colored lights that are all currently off. I, pu I push the green button. The green button makes a satisfying click and you hear a motor starting up somewhere. I, I, I push the red button. Or the lever, or whatever. I'm, you pull I'm, the lever, or whatever, and the machine shuts down. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'll try that again. Push the green button. Satisfying click, motor starting. I pull the lever. You pull the lever with a very pleasing chunk. And the motor noise turns into a sort of loud, windy whine. A yellow light is glowing on the console. I turn the knob. The options for the knob range from A to G. Turn the dial to F. 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 <laughs> you click the G. dial into place. <laughs> The noise turns into a sort of shuddering growl for a second. F! <laughs> for a second before an orange light flashes briefly and the entire machine shuts down. Well, shoot. You gonna fight the fish people? Something around here seems pretty fishy. And it's huh. these two moist fellas standing between you and that abandoned hat over there. I investigate. Not wanting to get any closer to them, you choose to interpret investigate as squint at them from a short distance away, which is probably for the best, as it might be bad for your mental state to see them in too much detail. These humanoid creatures are between five and six feet tall, hard to judge because of their hunched over posture, and covered with scales that glisten slickly in the dim light. So you can't tell if this is a natural luster or due to being covered with oily sewer filth. Ugh. More notable, of course, is the fact that they have huge fish heads. Sorry if I buried the lead there, but, you know, <laughs> saving the dramatic part for last and all. Mm -hmm. Their huge, bulging, round eyes glare at you out of the darkness, faintly luminous like a radium, like radium watch dials. They hiss and glurble at you between rows of pointed shark-like teeth. Gill slits on the sides of their heads open and close like thin, wet mouths gasping for air or whispering terrible secrets, whichever seems more likely to you. Gross. It appears that they're very displeased to see you, but are smart enough to hold off on attacking until they've judged how much of a threat you are. I dive in and fight them. Combat. Turtles. Turtles here. Turtle is our turtle. Yeah, combat sound and stuff is on. It's just, it's all very still. No music in this game. I know, right? It's very strange. Yeah, it's definitely silly because, uh, like West of Loathing had. A lot of fun music in it. Mm, maybe it's just uh, like, oh, it's just rainy, you know. It's it, it, the mood. What's the woo woo? <laughs> What's that? This option is haunted. <laughs> What's with all the <laughs> seeing arachnophobia, huh. arachnophilia? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will Winter. <laughs> so many spiders. <laughs> oh no. Oh. These are all like create out. I don't know if I can access those right now. Maybe because you're in combat. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, I haunt with the haunting quack. Honk. Scary. 
and I use this. Toss. Nasty leftovers. Hit him. Whack him. Piper beam. Oh, oh Gabby. Flip flap. Gabby can heal. Gabby can slap. Crook piles. Oh. Wonderful. Throw my rock. <gasps> Ouch. Yeah, get him. Flop. You won. Nice. So much for those things that you'd rather not think about any further. Excellent. Watch fly office. This must be the hat that Jessica wanted you to recover. An ominous, vaguely person-shaped stain on the ground. Hmm. You got a terribly cursed fedora. Yeah. A simple black felt fedora. It doesn't look cursed, but it has a palpable aura of menace about it. Nothing yeah. good can come of this. You know, I quit it. Ooh. <laughs> look at you. Everything here is fine. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yes. Topple. Wait, hold on, archives. What was the... It's trapdoor. Yeah. July 22nd, 1917. July 22nd, 1917. Ah. 17. What date would you like to look at the archives for? No! Second, yeah. <clears throat> you find something interesting. You gain 5 XP. The top story from that date is the Ocean City Comptroller's passing of an overly complicated sidewalk right-of-way policy that outlawed street-side newspaper vending machines and limited the maximum allowed width of newsstands to 4 feet. The story continues to say that Watchful Eye Management raised concerns about loss of revenue and the comptroller made a vague promise to divert city funds to make up for any shortfall. Hmm. Any future shortfall. Looks like it worked out great for everybody. Yeah. Wonderful. Just Only good things. Other day of things I know. You find something interesting. 5 XP. Tragic accident. Certain to have no consequences. Tragedy occurred yesterday evening when Hiramo Crollins, owner of the first mass-produced commercial automobile registered in the state, accidentally struck and killed the state's first hitchhiker, i.e. a person standing on uh, the side of the road attempting to solicit transportation from passing motorists. Fortunately for Mr. Crollins, the notion that vengeful spirits of the dead might haunt the places of their demise and murderous fan phantasmagoric rage has been rejected by modern science as rather unlikely, wouldn't you say? Unlikely, sure. We saw yeah. it. But it's uh, unlikely. Seems like a waste of time. Without anything specific you want to look up, this seems like a waste of time. I'm at the coffee. There's a little bit of very, very old coffee left in this percolator. Oh. Pouring yourself this cup of coffee is the first step on a short, nasty journey. Drink nasty it. old coffee. Yes. We're making the you coffee still have the diner worse. coffee. That's funny. Oh, okay. I do. Oh. A few months ago, somebody decided this coffee wasn't good enough to drink. You apparently disagree with that decision. <laughs> so, yeah, I can only have one potion active. Okay. Can I drink this? Fresh coffee. Can't bring yourself to drink it because you might really need some coffee later. 
Oh, but what about what about this nasty old coffee? You could smell this. I, w I need my coffee. You drink the coffee. The months have not been kind to it because it can't exact revenge on the months. It decides <laughs> to exact it on your mouth instead. Oh, alert. alert. Regretful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Ugh. And you've got a cursed fedora. <laughs> yeah, who knows what that's doing to you. It's probably Can't fine. Be. It's probably going to affect how attracted to you people are. The good kind uh -huh. of people? No. No. Oh. Well, it'll affect them not being attracted to you. Hey, yeah. nice. This is probably fine. Somebody has scratched some weird symbols into the sidewalk here. No, no. Same symbols as before. Yeah. Capsy. <laughs> She's gabbing all night. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's Jessica. Looks like you found the hat. I found a hat. I guess it's the one you met. Doesn't look unusual. Although. Yeah? Well, it, it does creep me out a bit. I can't really put my finger on why. I know what you mean. Feels kind of like you have a headache, except you don't actually. More like a feeling of dread. Like something terrible is about to happen, but I don't know what it is yet. Uh... Well, mm. that is definitely not related to the fact that I need you to take that hat and go sit in that machine over there. Uh, why? That's our uncursing machine. Gotta get the curse off that hat, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, but, uh... What? Can't we just put the hat in the machine? Why, why do I need to be involved? Because the machine needs... A mind to guide the uncursing process. Together, you'll lift the curse from the hat and transform it into a sort of allegorical dream space that the machine can transfix. Uh, what? Sorry, I know it's a lot. Let me rephrase. <clears throat> the uncursing machine uses your subconscious mind to drive a wedge between an item and its curse. The item is cleansed relatively easily but that doesn't negate the curse fully. Once separated from the item, the machine stores the curse and allows you to physically proje project into it and try and resolve the metaphorical scenario at the core of its existence. That's where things can get a little weird. Yeah, I know it sounds crack curse, <laughs> but you'll just have to give it a try to understand. Censored. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> Can't say that word. Crackers. Talk to Gabby. you later. <laughs> White people. Uh, I need you to stop cursing, putting you in the uncursing machine. It's the unslurring machine. <laughs> <laughs> you sit in the chair, which is surprisingly comfortable, and you put the weird metal dome thing down over your head. What would you like to uncurse today? The terribly cursed fedora. No sooner have you sat down than the machine, uh, than the machine with a hiss po positively whiffs the fedora straight up into the dome. The hat rattles around in there angrily like a snake in a cement mixer. After a good loud minute, flops limp and wet into your lap. Whatever ominous energy once possessed the terribly cursed hat is gone. It is now simply a terrible hat. Yay! You got an item, uncursed fedora. But the curse itself still lives, transfixed as a dreamlike construct within the machine. And how do I get rid of that curse? See, curses are like energy, poop skull. They can't be created or destroyed. Only changed. Can't remember who said that. Isaac Newman? Newton? Newton, Newman, yeah. The machine knows how to take a curse from one object and put it on itself. But as for how you change a curse, 
Well, I don't know. That's some higher consciousness spiritualist stuff. Don't know much about that. I'm more of a Newton Newman sort of guy. The Fedora's curse bounces around the innards of this machine, daring you to come project your consciousness inside of it. Sounds safe. I'll do that. Well, Fedora oh, that looks safe. Reserve. Fedora, Fedora reserve. reserve. I want to go home. A portal to another world. It is open, but the work here is not yet done. The curse remains unresolved. <sighs> nice hat. Oh, Thank you. nice hat. Oh, I they death creature. Tree fell before its time, a ground stained with sin. Yes. Uh, let's see. Et in Arcadia ego, even in Arcadia, there's death. Yes. Even in paradise, there is a killer. Ah. Thou know who I am and why I'm here. I cut uh, There's been a murder. What know thou of murder? That I did not do the murder, and that is all. What more have thee for me? Only this. I am one of the three brothers. One of us always tells the truth. One of us always tells lies. And the third of us does not spin at all, but honks. If I find in thee a liar, there is nothing I can do to save in thee. I cut uh, Thou art the servant of the wood. Blessed be her branches. Blessed be. Which tree has done the mortar today? Speak into the first tree. <laughs> I said I did not do the murder. I also say I am one of the three brothers. One of us always tells the truth. One of us always lies. And the third of us does not speak in at all but honks. Mm. Look at all his hats, I just noticed. <laughs> Yeah, he's got some hats. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Big power in the wood today, Cutter. Aye, a tree has fallen in the forest, and it has made a sin. But not me a sinner, that I assure thee. Thou claim to be without sin. None of us is without sin. But mine do not run to murder. Then whose? Look for me, brother. Leave me not all stray. <laughs> <laughs> Thy brother spake unto three brothers. One who always lies. One who always tells us the truth. And one who does not speak in at all but honks. What speak in thee of this? This is a fairy talk. Nothing has honking in this land since Mother Duck laid a big egg. No honking since then. No, sire. <sighs> Don't see me. Shopboy's rotten in the wood, Cutter. I am more With provisions as its source. Speak to me of perversions. I have not. Thing to say, for I do not tell you with them. What do thou tell in me? I am troubled by the murder, but of it I know not thing. I warn thee, my forgiveness makes no room for liars. I will do what thou must cut, uh, I have no doubt. Thy brother is speaking of three brothers. One who always lies, one who always tells the truth. And what do does not speak at all but honks? What speak on thee of this? I do not honk and sire, I swear upon it. Never hast thou honking? Never, never. Tis a sin in my eyes. I leave. 
Long may thee grow. Hey. Who did it? Who murdered? I speak into the thread tree. Bridge tree? The brothers bigger than three brothers. I did not sunk. I believe you. The brother speaks of uh, three brothers. Very dark. No one honks. No one can since then. I see. Well, those two say no one honks, but he says there's honking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Thou lie about honking. What sigh? Thy brother is honking, not. Thou wouldst lie to the cutter of the wood? Thou wouldst do murder in the wood? Aye, thou hast the right of it. I saw only the distract in thee while I stood making my escape. Goodbye, c uh. Do not run from me, tree! Thou uh, do not run? Nay, I grow in. Uh, in one hundred years, I will have grown in so tall and strong. Thine axe will never fall in me. But I will not wait 100 years. Die, murder. Whoa. Ooh, he got him. Whoa. Big uh, rut in the wood today, Cutter. And wait, what? No, that's not you. You don't talk like that. Dark thoughts of trees, axes, and bloody sap cling to your skin. You shake them off like dreadful cobwebs. Five V XP. Uh, you're not sure what just happened, but as you turn over the formerly terribly cursed fedora in your hands, you feel confident that the curse which plagued the starchy little felt thing is finally gone for good. You put the hat back on. It nearly sparkles now. Upgrade. Now all you've got to reckon with is whether you're the kind of guy who goes around wearing a fedora. <laughs> I love it. You fool. Oof. So you've what? chosen the what? chaotic neutral route. <laughs> yeah, we see your game. Plus one Side. is chaotic. Nice Head is clean both spiritually and laundrily. Laundrily. I keep thinking that would have like a day on it. It's like, I gotta check. Yeah. But no. I did it. You must be Charles Wallace. I'm poop silly. I am pleased to meet you, poop silly. What do you do around here? Oh, you're a general handyman sort of stuff. I keep the lights on and the water running. Built the Detectotron and the Uncursing Machine, too. Wow, that's some real high-tech wizardry. Eh, it's nothing, really. I'll see you around, Charles. Goodbye, Charles. Charles. I, I leave nowhere. I'm going to bed. Abby. Is that you? <laughs> oh, baby, that's Abby. It's a show for knickknacks and cut... <laughs> oh, chat keys! Chat keys. Oh, yes. Funny way to say it. I take a look. I've it's never seen that word spelled out. I've only heard it pronounced. So this is yeah, interesting. Same. <laughs> yeah. I think I know why now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show for niche and niche natch. Oh boy, it's getting late. Oh. <laughs> it's a show for knickknacks and chat keys. There's an old rag doll on the top shelf. Must have been left by the previous tenant. I think I will walk away from the shelf. Walk away from light. Simply turn and walk away. 360 <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of empty space in here. You should try to acquire a bunch of random crap to clutter it up with. Oh, yeah. Home sweet home. That's not 1920s lingo. <laughs> anyway. A television set. You've heard of these. I turn it on. Unfortunately, no shows have been invented yet. No. Dang. No. Need the box. Just ah. a static noise box to help me sleep. Bye. <laughs> Good old healthy white noise. 
Mm-hmm. Um, a simple writing desk with no chair or pens or paper or anything. Oh. Finally, time to get unpacked and get some sleep. Your trunk. Oh, yeah, she did take my trunk and put it in here. Oh, what's inside it? <gasps> oh, what the heck? You stamp out the flames, but it's a total loss. Everything you own has been reduced to ash. Everything? Everything except, bizarrely, the stamp from Murray's letter. You got an item stamped from Murray's letter. I don't know if I trust it. Good to know that all this stuff wasn't in there. <laughs> yeah. The stamp the from... Turtle. Yeah. The stamp from the letter Murray wrote you was the only survivor of your luggage inferno. It's got a picture of a cute dog on it. Weirdly, it isn't even charred. Hmm. Curious. The postmark says 18 APR 1906. Even though Jessica said she mailed the letter only a couple weeks ago. No, 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 no. I think that's also cursed. I don't know. You should uncurse it. This would be a great spot for a one night stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's funny. You are very ready for this day to be over. And <laughs> darn too. You gonna narrate that or are you gonna just say it? <sighs> Jacob Dream Marley. Sequence. Dream Bat School. The brother of Bob Marley? Uh, yeah, man. It's a poster What's of my you? favorite literary ghost. Mm. <laughs> <gasps> 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 You're able to change faces. Lots of people in this hallway, it seems. Mm. Talk to one of them. Hello? Hello. How's it going? Which locker is mine? I can't remember which locker is mine. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's alright, I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Leave them. Six lockers. Huh? Wait. <laughs> I'll check the seventh one. Yeah. There isn't a seventh one. <laughs> I said, check the seventh one. <laughs> and I said there are only six lockers. Check the seventh locker. Now. Okay, geez, you look in the seventh locker. It's filled with old school papers. Look at the papers. They've all got your name on them. They're your papers. I'd like to read one. How I Spent My Summer by Poopsley Pistol, age six. This summer, I visited my Uncle Murray. Uncle Murray is funny. He knows magic. I had a fun time with Uncle Murray. The end. I look under the papers. Underneath the pile of school papers, you find... Ugh. Overdue library book. Yay! Yeah, take that, narrator. Take that. You know what? Narrating's hard work. <laughs> the only way you interact with your inventory during a dream is if you had convinced Freddy to hold it for you at the exact moment you went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but you did that. Oh. Uh, I, I did that, though. No, you didn't. I did. I asked Freddy to hold all my stuff, and he said yes. You didn't even know Freddy. Fine. You got me. That's right. Ugh, how dare you. You're dreaming. So it probably isn't safe to look too closely at your character sheet right now. Don't you say so. Might not end well. There you go. Yay, we could get some spookiness and more spiders. Ah! Okay. <laughs> well then. That option was cursed! <laughs> uh, 
Arachnophobia? Arachnophonia. All combat sounds will be replaced <laughs> with spider noises. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you unlock more stuff. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Nice faces you got there. Do you, do you know which log is mine? I can't remember which log is mine. I know which one is yours. <laughs> it's the seventh. One. Well, that's right. That's my locker, meme. Poops a kill pistol, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> He's here now. <laughs> huh. My god. <laughs> Created a monster. But which one is the real you? Hint, it's neither. <gasps> ah! ah! Hint, it's not the seventh locker. What? took my locker. Dang, narrator. You open the first locker to reveal a thriving colony of ants. Yay! The second locker is full of peanut butter. Yay! Third locker contains a tiny shrine to Babe Ruth. Woohoo! Wow. Baseball. The fourth locker is empty. Aww. The fifth locker is filled with cookbooks, but they're all in French. Ooh. The sixth locker opens onto the vast, uncaring emptiness of space. You slam it shut quickly so as not to suffocate. Understandable. Gotta get away from that man. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Our founder, Branworth Gorvoon... Gorvanu Gorvunculus the third. <laughs> this lady looks friendly. Hello, you must be. She flips through the book on her desk. Ah, uh, here we are. Pistol. Poop silly pistol. I know I am, but who are you? I'm your academic advisor. It's time for you to choose your class. But I dropped out. In real life, certainly. You must, however, choose a class. Oh, I get it. This is where I pick a character class. <laughs> <laughs> now then, it looks like there are three classes for you to choose from. There's advanced kicking and throwing. This class is for pig skinners. Then we have overview of Kurt. Conjuring. This is a class for cheese wizards. And finally, Weird Time Signature 504. This cor course is for jazz agents. We like Moxie. We do. Yeah. And I'm we do interested. like jazz. I'm jazz. interested in being a jazz agent. Masters of Syncompation and Improvisation. Jazz agents use their rhythm and moxie to move around the world in style. In combat, they attack with subtly, sub, sub, yeah. weakening their enemies and stacking the odds in their favor over time. That sounds like what I want. Alrighty, you're a jazz agent. The name's Pissile. Poopsily Pissile. Now then. There's just the minor matter of your minor. Uh, it looks like you've already completed it, but it doesn't say what you studied. I think my minor was in was applied insectology. Hmm. Ah, an insectologist. So you're an expert on the bugs and the birds and the bees and such. Yes, except for the birds part. You got a perk, insectologist. Well, with that, I believe we're done. Feel free to wake up and go about your day. Uh, how would I go about doing that? She smiles and points at the door on the right side of the screen. I mean, the right side of the dream. Just through that door. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Not need those ants in your pants. I need to look at them. Ah, the abyss. You could gaze into it for days. 
Ah. But not now. Ah, the French. Uh, the nice lady at the desk says that this doorway leads back to your waking life. I'll go on through. Whooshy whoosh. Whoa! Splooshy sploosh. Oh. You awake feeling surprisingly refreshed. Yesterday's adventures leaving you none the worse for wear. Your effects reset each day. Oh. Oh. There's now music. Yeah, there is. Told there you. There is, yeah. You're just See. being. Oh, jeez. Whoa. I got a lot more to choose from. <laughs> That's what happens when you choose a class. You gotta get yeah. that moxie, bro. If only have. 20 XP, though. Hmm. Use it kindly. Gather yeah, crafting goons from insects. Great. Well, we're hmm. going to fight a lot of spiders, apparently. They're not insects, but I like what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but you need knowledge of insects to know that. That's true. <gasps> oh, frick, it's a double-edged sword. Morning, Poopsily. How'd you sleep? Wait, why are you still wearing those wet clothes? Oh, my other clothes burned up in a freak luggage fire. Ah, jeez, that's weird and unfortunate. You seem less surprised by it than I would expect. We kind of gotten accustomed to weird and unfortunate stuff happening around here. You could pick out some clothes from the shop out front, if you don't mind looking like someone's dusty old grandpa. I'll be alright, thanks anyway. Well, once you've got the sleep out of your eyes, I've got another mission for you. Another cursed thing? Yeah, I've had my eye on it for a while, but it keeps moving around. Mostly the readings put it at the local speakeasy. At the back of an alley at the other end of the block. The artifact isn't there right now, but that's where I'd start looking. Maybe you can pick up some clues. Okay, what am I looking for? It appears to be a watch of some kind. A pocket watch, or maybe a wrist watch? I can't be certain. A watch and a speakeasy in the alley. Got it. Anything else? To do you'll list. Need, <laughs> you'll need the, the password for the speakeasy. It's fiddlesticks. Also, let me give you this to do list. It's enchanted to always show you whatever's written on the chalkboard here. Oh, pretty neat trick. Here's some meat for expenses, too. The army surplus next door should have anything you need in case things get rough. That's ominous, but thanks. You get 100, 100 meat. meat. That's a lot of meat. That's so of much meat. meat. Give it to me. You oh, stay God. home! Damn it! Oh, oh, that was one. only the prologue. Uh-huh. Welcome to Ocean City. We beat the prologue, and now we get to have. <gasps> we get to have music. We get to Gabby. have Gabby. That's all I really want. A woo. A woo. Did you? Did he move it for you, or did you move out of the way? Oh. His horn okay. says a mogus. A mogus. It really did sound like it that time too. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Is it getting higher pitched? I think so. <laughs> I think... Uh, yep. <laughs> what? Did you know this? No. Oh. There you go, that's normal. Okay. It's higher Maybe they are just making... They're all just making spider sounds. If that's, that's spider. what spiders sound like, I don't want to hear ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be creepy. Yeah. You're just sleeping at night and then... <laughs> But it's like kind of muffled, so you know it's from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Mom, there's a spider in my room. I tried to sleep. Poopy. Do a poopy. Hey. Wanna try again? I write my note on the chalkboard. <laughs> Great note on the chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm glad you can do that. Does it show up in there if Ooh. you go in? Uh, I don't think so, because it's just oh. kind of like this. Darn. All right. 
That'd be cute, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. That's too much to ask for it, though. You expect so little of this game, and I don't know, that, that fits fair, at least. I'm expecting some loathing to go on. Well, I loathe your loathing. I think we should call it there. Sure. Hmm. Did it say? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It did. Continue. Yeah. There. And then, yeah, it'd be fun to continue this, but uh, shrug. We have a lot of other stuff going on right now, anyway. You never finish any of your games. Finish one, damn it! I accept the game!